Well, that was spectacular, Paul. It was the a cappella version of the Barca anthem. It's week 10, it's El Clasico, it's Barca against Real Madrid. Are you excited, Paul? A lot. A cappella is even greater, this anthem. It's spectacular when you see 100 people, 100,000 people like chanting uh, the Barca anthem. And before the players, they were like, you know, picturing the game, visualizing the how it's gonna how it's gonna be and checking the last update there's that uh, reversible mosaic we were talking about we color football we can read the message on uh, those yellow cards and the blue and red stripes the atmosphere here is spectacular the volume of the fans right now singing a cappella again is simply amazing it's the most important game of the season you know so uh, the tension is here in on the field well we've got both teams on the field we've got uh, sergio busquets and uh, sergio ramos both captains we are meeting messi this afternoon you know as a captain OK, and we're going to take a quick look at the lineups again, uh, Paul Calvet. It's Marc-Andre Ter Stegen in goal for Barca with uh, Sergi Roberto Piquet, Langlais and uh, Jordi Alba at the back. We've got Busquets, Rakitic and Arthur in midfield and Rafinha, Suarez and Coutinho up front. Same uh, lineup as against Inter Milan. Yeah, Barca, I think they have to um, play safe from the beginning, you know, take over the rhythm of the game, keep it flowing. And then, as time goes by, uh, be more uh, aggressive uh, towards the target. Everything is ready for this Clasico to start. Real Madrid are going to have the first possession of the game. They're playing in their traditional clean white kit. And Barca are playing with their blue and red stripes. Barca, if you're watching this on television, will be attacking to the right. Real Madrid to the left. The referee waiting for this... Uh, Classico to get Kick underway, off. to get ready, and here we go. It's Real Madrid, and you can hear the boos from the fans. It's Casemiro playing with uh, Nacho, as we say, first possession for Real Madrid. The ball back to Thibaut Courtois playing in his own box. Looking for the long ball over to the right side for Gareth Bale. He's going to be one of the main threats. Barca with some pressure there to win the ball back, and it's Ivan Rakitic. Nice. Barca get their first touches in, yeah. Paul. Yeah, now, now is the time to build that from the scratch, to keep the ball, to, to find the alternative, you know, to, to hurt them. This is Rakitic, who's going to be playing alongside Busquets. We can see Barca's tactic, more or less. It is a 4-3-3, kind of, isn't it? I'm very highly of Arthur. He's an absolutely great player. And it reminds me uh, Chavi, not because he's short, but because of the, the way that he understands uh, the game. That was Arthur getting involved, playing with Sergio Roberto. We've got the two centre halves now, uh, Piquet and uh, Langley. First Classico for Langley as well, as well as Arthur. Yeah, Langley is a newcomer as well. And I think that it's more a Piquet profile, you know, more technique. Uh, with a nice... Um... Oh, here come Real Madrid on the break, it's offside. Sorry, Paul, but Benzema was running towards Ter Stegen and that meant danger, but the assistant did raise his flag. You were saying, Paul? Yeah, um, I was saying that Lenglet, he has a very Piquet style, you know. Um, he tries to build up nice and clean from the scratch. And, and uh, yeah, we are, we are so excited as well. It's going to be a, a great challenge for him. Here's Jordi Alba sending a long ball through to Coutinho. He's uh, onside, the cross looking for the far post. Sergio Roberto's going to run for it, but I don't oh. think he'll be able to keep it in play. It's a throw in for Real Madrid in an advanced position for Barca, so there's going to be some high pressure here by Rafinha, by Rakitic and uh, Luis Suarez to try and complicate things for Julian Lopetegui's side. Real Madrid, who, by the way, have not been in the best of forms lately, Paul, have they? Not really. Uh, even the head coach, Lopetegui, uh, he has a great question mark, you know, uh, because um, he's performing pretty, pretty bad. And, and we will see what's going to happen uh, after this game. Here's Barca with possession uh, at the moment. The team wanting to keep the ball. It's Rakitic 
in his own half. Barca looking for that left flank with Jordi Alba and Coutinho. Suarez back to Jordi Alba. He's in an advanced position. The ball goes back to Artur. And here's the Brazilian midfielder playing with Pique. Barca switching things over to the right, but Pique wants to send it over to Alba. Good run back by Gareth Bale there to chest the ball over to Courtois. I'm quite surprised. I expect in Madrid a little more higher, but if they are waiting for um, Barca, you know, very, in a very tight way, it's for a reason, you know? So uh, let's see. At the beginning, the, the game is a little mellow. It's not very, very um, exciting, you know, in terms of um, chances and attempts and so on. Here's Ramos with the long ball looking for the run of uh, Benzema, but the ball goes straight into the hands of Marc-Andre Ter Stegen, who, as you said in the uh, pre-game poll, managed to keep a clean sheet against uh, Inter Milan, and that's important. The team were saying, we heard Gerard Pique, for instance, saying that we've been conceding goals too easily. Careful with that long ball by uh, Jordi Alba it's, looking for Suarez inside the box. We were talking about those clean sheets. Yeah, it's always highly important, you know, to, to keep um, the the goal, you know, your own goal zero. But above all, when you you don't have the, the, the top scorer of your team, it's messy. And they have to pay attention a lot, you know, to, to keep it safe, to don't allow Madrid to have chances. At the moment, it's Artur putting pressure on uh, Varane. Madrid playing in their own half over on the right side. This is Varane again. He's got the option of Courtois further back. That's why they're making the run. Towards Courtois, Bale complaining there after bumping into Jordi Alba. The referee gives nothing and Barca wins the ball back. Here's Rakitic with Rafinha. With Skets, Barca combining beautifully in uh, midfield. One touch, two touch. Here's Jordi Alba, he gets the bounce off of uh, Nacho Suarez trying to play the ball inside for Jordi Alba. Barca still has the ball, Coutinho's inside looking for the cross. I do. Courtois managing to catch the ball. I don't really like the way Barca is pressing after losing the ball, you know? It's the best time, you know, because uh, you have... Uh, you don't allow the other team to, to think. And even they are not organized to then uh, defend you. There's a foul now on Rafinha and the fans are complaining. They want a yellow card on Sergio Ramos. That's the first one for the Real Madrid captain and centre-half. The ball is in the centre circle, the referee is having a word with Ramos, but there'll be no yellow card. Ramos has a lot of experience and he knows that the, in the very beginning of the game he, he's not going to get that yellow card, so he's... Um, Trying to mark his territory, kind yeah, of, yes. Exactly, pushing from, from the beginning and then maybe he's going to be more, more aware about what he does. Barca has the ball again at the moment, having the longer possessions against the Real Madrid side that's trying to come out, but sitting back in their own half, mostly. Here's uh, a long ball by Langley. Not good enough to find Coutinho. There'll be a throw in on the right side for Real Madrid. Anyway, but I think that the first minutes of Barca are, are being great so far. So um, you have to keep um, having the ball, you know, keeping, taking, passing and moving from one side to another to find the, the space to, to get more attempts. At the moment, Real Madrid are kind of struggling to keep the ball, really. There's no sequence with more than three or four passes by the uh, side and even it, from the capital of Spain. Even it doesn't look that they want the ball, you know? It's like maybe they are more waiting for for um, Barca, you know, when, when he loses the ball and then go to counter-attack than, than keeping it and building from, from the beginning. Here's Busquets finding uh, Rafinha, who plays it out wide to Sergio Roberto. Back to Rafinha. The ball is taken away from him by Tony Cross, And Madrid will play from behind. Disco surrounded by three Barca players, Tony Cross. They know how to do that as well. They're managing to keep the ball in spite of the Barca pressure. Casemiro, pressured by Rafinha. Sergio Roberto slides in to clear the ball. Yeah, we, we don't have to admit that Madrid uh, has a skillful players above four in the midfielder, Isco, um, Cross, and Modric, even Marcelo. So, um, 
Here's a run by Gareth Bale. Piquet's chasing back. The cross by Bale finds Benzema with the volley inside the box. It's a fast chance for Real Madrid. Left-footed volley by Benzema. Bale has switched sides. He's gone over to the left and he put in a cross to connect with the French striker. There was no trouble for Ter Stegen because it went high over the crossbar, but it is a first chance for Real Madrid. That's what we were saying before, like Gareth Bell uh, took a great run and then crossed the ball to the box. And fortunately, Benzema uh, missed, the, missed the shot. But we have to pay attention of that. We remind you that we're on uh, YouTube, Twitter and uh, Facebook Live. You're following El Clasico with us via the uh, Football Club Barcelona social media channels. Here is Rafinha, Barca going into attacking mode. Rafinha over to the left for Jordi Alba. In front of him is Nacho, Rafinha. Back to Busquets, pressure by Benzema. But Barca managed to keep the ball at the moment in their own half with uh, Gerard Piqué, who's in the centre circle. Felipe Coutinho making himself available. Busquets, the runner, Jordi Alba. This could be dangerous. He hasn't got Messi, but he can connect with other people inside the box. But there's a clearance by Casemiro. And here are Madrid on the run again. Gareth Bale beaten there by Clément Langley, who is applauded by the Barca fans. It's Barca looking sure at the back at the moment. And it's, it's very interesting, the, the role that uh, Rafinha has adopted, you know, was a free at attacking uh, role that um, he's looking at the the, the space uh, he's not on the wide on the right side of the of the field but he's you know moving between lines and at the moment uh, in comparison with the inter game we've got Rafinha playing more on the right and Rakitic on the left it was uh, the other way around the other day I'm not sure if that's a uh, tactical decision or whether they've just come up with that yeah I think that um Rakitic and, and Arthur, they are switching because the, the role is pretty similar. So I, I, I think it's more something that um, it's, it's going during the game. Monda more than a position that they are trying to, to switch from the, from the beginning. Or maybe it is because Rakitic can be more on top of Luka Modric, who is slightly more creative than uh, Tony Cross. And uh, that means that Arthur can uh, pay more attention to attacking, maybe. Yeah, that's another creating. factor. They, they know each other pretty well. So, um, Modric is a paramount player from Madrid, and Rakitic knows very well, so it could be a, a great way to, to defend him. Here's the run by Jordi Alba. This one could be dangerous. He's got in behind the defense. Alba raises his head. He's got Coutinho with the goal. Yeah. It's a goal for Barca. It's a goal for Felipe Coutinho. And the fans are rolling. Tenth minute in the game. And it's a goal by Felipe Coutinho in his second Clasico. Excellent run by Jordi Alba in behind the defense. He waited, waited, waited for the right moment to find Felipe Coutinho. And Barca take the lead in the 10th minute. Paul, how amazing was that? Absolutely fantastic. Jordi Alba got a great run and he passed back to Coutinho that he was uh, alone. I'm so surprised about that. But he shot very well in the left side of the goal of um, Courtois. So amazing way to, to start a game. Uh, Barca is winning one nail, and Madrid looks like shock right now. Real Madrid will have to come back. The fans are chanting, the fans are delighted. Felipe Coutinho with his left foot inside the box, coming in from behind after an excellent Jordi Alba run. And here's pressure by Barca, but there's a foul called on uh, Luis Suarez. It could have been a dangerous situation. Suarez. What a start. It's very similar, excuse me, Paul, yeah. to what happened in the last Clasico when Suarez got an early goal. Then that ended uh, to, uh, to all. It ended in a draw after a controversial sending off of Sergio Roberto right before yeah. half time. But it is a similar start. It's pretty similar, very, very, very similar. I, mean, I was watching uh, Suarez, how he um, pushed, you know, and. Oh, and it's another good run. Here's Suarez. He's got Coutinho to his left, and Barca are in the box again. Here's Felipe Coutinho looking for an opening. This shot bounced off of the legs of a Real Madrid uh, defender. Suarez wanted the ball back. Yeah, I it was, was another good chance there. I was saying that Suarez doesn't take anything for granted. So every single action he owes. 
Here comes Modric, sorry, ball. Gareth Bale yeah. with a weak shot with his left foot. Straight into the hands, no trouble for Mark andre Ter Stegen. But Barca do need to be careful with that because Real Madrid, with space to run, are very dangerous. Yeah. Bale's shot wasn't good enough, you know, to, to make an impact. But yeah, you have to take care of that because uh, Madrid, when he runs behind the defense of uh, the teams, they, they are very dangerous. And right now, Barca would be seven points ahead of Real Madrid, leading the table with 21 points. Real Madrid would be left out of European positions with 14. That's not <laughs> normal in the, in the Spanish league, yeah, number four for Madrid. Uh, Madrid is in a, in a tough spot right now, and the head coach as well. I don't think if the, the game ends like this, um, he's going to keep uh, his spot. And that was Felipe Coutinho's fourth league goal. You can hear the fans chanting for the team. Here's Suarez. Barca making a move forward. It's Rafinha. He's got Sergio Roberto to his right. There goes the ball. Roberto can put it across. Looking for the far post. Coutinho has to run back to be able to control that ball. He's got uh, Nacho defending him. Here is uh, Coutinho. The ball goes back to Jordi Alba. Barca on the left. Here's... Uh, Jordi Alba, Coutinho. Now Artur. And back to Rakitic. Real Madrid with all 11 players in their own half. Madrid, Real Madrid is absolutely, it's completely groggy, you know? It looks like they are not uh, uh, on, on, the, on the same page, you know? Um, Barca, from the, from the scratch, they have the ball, they, they know how to play, what they want. Uh, and Madrid is like, is like uh, senseless. And Barca are being very dangerous, especially down that left flank, aren't they? With Coutinho, they've got Jordi Alba who provided the assist in the first goal. And Real Madrid are struggling with Nacho and Bale on that side. The fans applauding because Barca are keeping possession. Yeah. And now the ball over to that left side again. Here comes Jordi Alba who's playing more as a winger than as a full-back. 1-2 with Coutinho, which is intercepted by the Real Madrid defence. Now the Martelo's got the ball. You were right, Robert. Uh, left side of Barca is the, the good one, you know, where, where they are like Jorge Madrid, uh, Coutinho and Alba. They, are, they have a lot of space as well. And they're creating the, the attempts. Uh, and there's a harsh tackle now on Rafinha, who went flying. Referee says play on. It's going to be a throw-in for Real Madrid on the left side of Marcelo. But after the goal, the best reaction is probably Barca. Barca have just kept going, haven't they? Real Madrid, as you said, are struggling to react. Yeah, there is no, there is no time, you know, here to concede uh, goal to space. Uh, it's a, it's a great team and. and is Marcelo with a shot and Ter Stegen with and a you little never, bit of uh, you never, trouble. You never know when Madrid is going to, you know, um, wake up. Well, things would have gotten complicated now if uh, that shot uh, had gone in. Uh, Ter Stegen had to react and the ball ended up bouncing off of his chest. He looked like he had the situation under control. Oh, here's a good pass by uh, Suarez. Uh, a bit too deep for Rafinha. Varane in yeah. time to react. But... but Madrid, uh, Rafinha is more uh, midfielder, not, he's not a winger, not a forward, so he's not very, very fast. So he needs more the, the ball uh, on, the, on the feet, you know. Now Busquets looking for the run of Suarez, who wasn't ready for it. And the ball ended up in uh, the hands of Thibaut Courtois, Real Madrid playing from behind. The boos are for Sergio Ramos, the Real Madrid captain, but he gives the ball straight. To Sergio Busquets, Suarez trying to protect that position. The referee says, get up. There's no foul. Suarez went to the ground. It looked like he was in advantage. And instead of going for the run, he tried to place his body in front of Ramos to protect that position. He went down to the ground. The referee said nothing was to be called. Here is Gerard Pique. The fans roaring. Fans, fans are delighted because of the, the start of Barca. There's a foul on Ivan Rakitic now. 17 minutes played, it's Barca 1, Real Madrid 0. We remind you that the goal scorer was Felipe Coutinho in the 10th minute, so 
An excellent start for Barca. Here's uh, Artur Rakitic. People were asking uh, a little more for Coutinho before the game, and definitely he, he started uh, really well. Uh, even when I was taking a look at the warm up, uh, he was uh, with Suarez, you know, like crossing some balls, and he was like adopting the, the playmaking role that Messi has. And I think that we need, we need more of, of Coutinho, he's doing right now. And I think it's the, the tone that we, that we have to follow. We've got some fans asking us to put the camera on the field. Unfortunately, we do not have the rights to do that. So we're going to try and explain this as accurately as possible. Now, Felipe Coutinho has the ball in midfield and gets away from Luka Modric with a lovely little move. Coutinho Fantastic. with uh, Rakitic and here come Barca on the attack. There's a through ball for Rafinha who tries to cut inside to his better right foot, his better left foot, excuse me. But... The ball was taken away from him. Oh, here's Artur on the edge. He can get a shot. Artur and Courtois, who flies in with a save. Artur, very close to scoring Barca's second. Great and save. Barca with pressure now. There's a uh, free kick given to Real Madrid. What a chance, Paul, for Artur to score in his first Clasico. He went for the finish from the edge of the box for the top right corner with the inside of his foot. But Courtois did put in an excellent save, yeah. didn't he? It, it looked like a pass, you know, and very, very precise. But uh, Courtois took it very well. Pulled off the, the ball. He, he did a great, a great save. What a chance it was for Barca. It could have been 2-0 easily, but Thibaut Courtois is a top-level keeper. And that was a top-level save. Here's Bale making the run. Jordi Alba Be careful running here. back. Pique having to slide in and that. It's not a foul yet, but Benzema picks up the ball. Isco inside the box. Jordi Alba getting the touch, and Barca managed to clear the ball away. This could be a counter-attack now. What a foul on what Rafinha. Foul. No yellow card, though, at the moment. It was going to be a clear counter-attack. Barca tried to play the ball quickly. The referee says it has to be done again. Casemiro is a kind of a ruthless player, you know, that... He tries to cut the, the counter-attacks of the team, um, no matter how. Well, if you ask me, it could have been a yellow card. Because Barca were going on the counter-attack. Rafinha cut to his left. There was a sliding tackle. He was brought down. It was maybe a bit of intention of playing the ball, but little chance. Probably it should have been, definitely. Uh, no it should have been a, a yellow card for Casemiro. No yellow cards issued at the moment. Barca... Trying to find Rafinha over on the right side. He has the support of Sergi Roberto making the run forward. Here's Rafinha, Suarez offering himself. Wasn't a good pass by uh, Rafinha Alcantara. Isco in a more defensive position, trying to bring the ball out. Nacho trying to get away from Coutinho, but the ball goes straight out of play. 20 minutes played, Barca 1, Real Madrid 0. Felipe Coutinho with his fourth goal in the league, giving Barca the lead at the moment. Yeah, we have to remind you... Uh the people that um, Nacho is replacing Carvajal. So yep. Carvajal is the, the, the one who usually starts. And he, as he's injured, he's not playing right now. Suarez making himself available all the time. Here he is trying to provide the ball to Coutinho, who was making the run down the left side. Good recovery by Rafael Varane. They were trying to do a one-two in the left side of Barca uh, attacking position. Uh, definitely, the, the the goal is in the left side of of the Barca attacking Second side. Yes. Yeah, with Coutinho, with Jordi Alba. We were saying it before. That's where the goal came from. A good run by Jordi Alba, who waited for the best moment to make the cross to find Coutinho. Here's Coutinho, who tried the back heel pass, a sneaky little trick there to find Suarez, but. There was no understanding between both players. Suarez didn't make the run, and Real Madrid have the ball now. Here's Karim Benzema, who's playing on the left a lot, isn't he? Here is uh, Varane, pressure by the Barca players. Busquets running towards Luka Modric. Here is Isco. Nacho now, making now, the run forward, yes. Now they switch uh, Isco in the right side, trying to get more uh, the ball to be more in contact and Benzema is in, the, is in the left. So they're trying to, to switch positions to, to 
figure out where where are the alternatives to to have the ball, you know, and and react. We've got a throw in for Real Madrid far forward in their attacking positions on the right. Barca defending well and Jordi Alba winning the ball back. Now Coutinho has the ball. Sergio Busquets, Suarez, Rafinha on the left has to go down to the ground. And let's see who that ball will be for. Real Madrid probably, yes. As they throw in both both players went to a tackle and then the, the ball went out for Madrid. Here's uh, Tony Cross. We've seen very little of him so far. Here's uh, Marcelo. Also winning the ball back. Rafinha, Sergi Roberto. This is Artur who has time to think, and that's always dangerous. Here he is. Artur making the run. No support over on the left side at the moment. He has to pass the ball back to Jordi Alba. It's always great when Arthur has uh, space because he has a clear mind. And from then he has, he has the he has he's able to choose the, the right option every time. Once again we've got the Barca anthem, Acapella and Sergio Roberto making a run forward. This could be dangerous. Varan coming in for the tackle and winning the ball back cleanly. Just a bit of a heavy touch there for Sergio Roberto, not managing. Roberto so, uh, find he, Coutinho. He's a multi-talented player and he used to play as a midfielder in the in the academy of Barca and even when he um, came to the first team uh, when Luis Enrique took the the head role of uh, Barca then um, he moved uh, Roberto to the right side and I think it was a great a great uh, move for him because he has a lot of uh, pace uh, he's really good on the on the long run and if you add the how he thinks the how he skillful he is so right now is the the starter of the right back of Barca so that means a lot there's a foul given to Real Madrid now on the right bit of a long possession for Julian Lopetegui's side Barca did have a bit of a, a good moment going on after the goal. Now things seem to have uh, settled down. Real Madrid trying to find their place in the game after a few minutes of uh, not knowing where they were or what to do. Here is Toni Kroos, pressured by Rakitic. Marcelo stuck to the uh, left line and the ball went out. So it's going to be a bar to throw in. Marcelo not agreeing with that. It seems like Madrid got a sense of awareness, you know. Uh, and okay, they are losing. They have to try to to get the ball if, if they if they want to um, score and, and and draw the the, the match. Langley trying to find Suarez, but instead the ball went straight to Tony Cross, and here are Madrid in a transition. Good sliding tackle by Sergio Roberto to impede Isco, who's got the ball now. But in a less dangerous zone, Pique heading the ball away. Rafinha's going to fight to bring it down. Head it over to Suarez, but Ramos tries the volley. That's from very far away. No problems for Testigan. That's what Barca has to avoid, you know, because uh, Lenglet, I think he was to, he tried to pass, but it was a risky pass. And Madrid is one of the, the key drivers we were reviewing uh, before in the warm up that they're going to try to counter attack every time they they can so Lenglet has to be more 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 secure in, uh, when when he he crosses these this balls now Barca struggling a bit more to bring the ball out of their own half here's uh, Ter Stegen finding Busquets fans trying to push Barca forward here's Rakitic Rafinha on the right side in between Isco and Marcelo he manages to do that successfully Suarez Back to Rafinha, the ball over to the left side. Here's Felipe Coutinho, he's got Jordi Alba further to the left. Here's Alba, the cross inside. Oh, Suarez is in an attacking position. And is that going to be a penalty? Not at the moment. Rafinha with the cross, and I think that should be reviewed. Ball still in play. It was a clear fall by Suarez. And now the flag is raised for offside. And we need to know whether this is going to be reviewed because I think it was a very clear fall of Luis Suarez. We've got the screen in front of us. We're going to try and see if that was a penalty or not. 
from the third ring of the stadium, we look at a penalty. But uh, we need to check uh, to, the, to the review, to the replay. Is it going to be reviewed? It seems like the referee is telling Sergio Busquets that it is. At the moment, Real Madrid would have the ball. We haven't seen a replay yet. Suarez fell down inside the box. He was in a position of advantage. Jordi Alba had made the cross. And question marks being raised at Cap No right now. Everyone Not looking worried. at the referee, and it is going to be reviewed. Okay. It's going to be reviewed. Far is going to come into action. The referee running over to the sideline. Nobody, nobody and now knew what was going on. Now we're going to see what is given. It's a clear fall by Suarez. We're looking at it on the screen right next to us. It's as if Varane collapses onto Suarez when he's uh, got in touch with the ball. And that, in my opinion, should be a penalty. What is it going to be? Here comes the referee. And it's a penalty, penalty. for Barca. The fans are roaring. And Suarez will have the chance to make it 2-0. He scored four in La Liga. He scored the other day against Sevilla from the penalty spot. And Barca have a chance to double their lead. Courtois on the line of goal. Suarez in front of him. 12 yards separate them. And here goes the Uruguayan for his fifth goal in La Liga. He knows what it is to score against Real Madrid. Here goes Luis Suarez and it's a goal for Barca! Yes! Finished by Luis Suarez to his left, to the right of the keeper, just hitting the base of the post. And Barca make it 2-0 in the 29th minute. He made it happen with a penalty and he scored. It's Barca 2, Real Madrid 0. And things are looking very good, aren't they, Paul? The crowd is chanting Uruguay right now because they know how important he is for the team. He scores a great goal, a penalty kick, and we couldn't ask more for, for a Clásico. Uh, two nail, uh, minute 30, and Barca is running the game um, from the beginning. The fans are delighted. Ole, ole, Barca, ole is the chant at the moment. We see if you can listen to it. Coutinho and Suarez, the scorers, 2-0, just on the half-hour mark. Things looking very good for Barca. There's still a lot of time to go. There's over an hour to play. And both goals coming from that left side, Paul. Once yeah. again, Jordi Alba with the cross. This time a penalty on uh, Luis Suarez. It had to be reviewed, it was given. And the first goal also came from an Alba play. And it was uh, another weird thing of this new season. The, the now penalties and the important uh, situation of the game I reviewed for the, um, through the bar. And yeah, it was the first time I think uh, in, uh, at the Clásico the, the... It is our first, the first Clásico with VAR. With VAR, so, so yeah. definitely. Uh, with a penalty kick uh, through this uh, new tool. Jordi Alba wins the ball back after a bad pass. Here is Felipe Coutinho, still in his own half, crossing the halfway line, finding Suarez in the middle. Busquets over to the left once again for who else? And Jordi Alba, forward pass for Coutinho. He's on the edge of the box, inside now. Here is Coutinho with a left-footed cross, and it's going to be a corner kick for Barca. Real Madrid do not know how to answer to this at the moment. Coutinho and Alba, they both uh, performing uh, outstanding this afternoon. Uh, they are creating uh, a valuable situation for Barca to uh, create attempts. And Here's the cross by Felipe Coutinho. Langley looking for the header. Cleared away by the Real Madrid defence. Rafinha put it back inside the box, but... Thibaut Courtois was the first to get there. And I was, I was taking a look before as well uh, to Rafinha. 
I had the, the opportunity to play with him when I was uh, in the under-19 uh, team in Barcelona. And he is extremely competitive. He knows very well when he has to be uh, on shape, when he has to perform well. And definitely today, and the last game against Inter Milan, he did it. So he's uh, taking advantage, you know, and he's uh, uh, using the opportunity that Valverde um, gave uh, to him. Well, it's a very sweet moment for Rafinha, isn't it? Because he had some, uh, he had a terrible injury uh, still in the Luis Enrique seasons. Then he found it far, uh, found it hard to come back. He even went on loan to Inter Milan for the last six months of last season, and then came back in the summer, worked hard, had a good preseason. He's had a few minutes, but. Uh, it hasn't been really until the Messi injury when we've uh, seen him uh, seen him in this position. We saw him play well against Inter. He even scored, and he's doing well today as well, isn't he? Yeah, but here he he is. You know, um, he was preparing himself to be ready, to be in shape, uh, to picture you know uh, the opportunity, and, and now he's taking it. So uh, we we have to applaud Rafinha and and, and say it loudly. Ball back to Thibaut Courtois. Madrid playing from behind. Courtois looking for the long ball. It's Piquet who gets his head to it. It's going to be a throw in for Real Madrid on the left side of their midfield. Here's Martello. Going to play with Gareth Bale. Piquet slides in. That's going to be a foul on Bale. No yellow cards issued at the moment. Yeah. It was a hard tackle from Piquet to Bale. Foul I'm given for Real Madrid, you were saying, Paul, excuse I, me. I am quite surprised why the referee is not uh, showing yellow cards. Well, it's not been a very aggressive game at the moment, has it? But uh, there have been a couple of fouls, especially one by Casemiro and Barca were going on the break. That could have been a yellow card. Maybe this Piquet one as well. Yeah, but, but maybe on the other hand, you know, um, he's like uh, raising the bar, you know, of... Uh, Aggressiveness. Here is uh, Piquet with the clearance. Now a foul is given on Barca as Piquet got his foot to it. And then Gareth Bale was late in the challenge. So Barca will have a chance to play from behind. Here's Terstegen over to the left for Jordi Alba. Valverde has to be happy at the moment with 10 minutes remaining in the first half with what his team has shown on the field. Here's Rakitic. Suarez, all taken away from him, but there was a previous foul the on foul. Ivan Rakitic just on the halfway line. The Barca now he has to to keep having the the possession of the ball, you know, and and I will fall, try not to to get the score and go to the half time. Oh, what a ball by Jordi Alba by Felipe Coutinho. Varan manages to get there just in time and clears the ball away straight out of play. Throw in for Barca. Another throwing from the left side of the Barca attacking uh, side. So About the ball bounced off of the face of Isco right now after Artur was trying to make a pass back to Sergio Busquets. Here comes Coutinho making himself available to Jordi Alba. Another throw in for Barca. De definitely was our sweet spot, you know. Uh, it's, it's been our sweet spot, the, the left one with uh, Coutinho and Alba and even Arthur. You know, at the beginning we were um, saying that maybe Arthur and Rakitic were streets. Now they are both in the in the right position, you know? Once again, the run by Jordi Alba, the feed by Sergio Busquets. Here's Alba looking for the cross, and Suarez just about to get there on the edge of the small box. He didn't know whether to go with his right foot or his head. He got caught in between and let the ball pass. Good chance there yeah. for Barca. Suarez was hesitating there. And it's a quite weird because uh, he smells, you know, you know, of blood when he's in the in the box just to 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 score a goal. It's Barca to Real Madrid nil at the moment, 37th minute of the first half. We have to keep reminding you that we cannot show you the game. That we do not have rights for that and uh, we'll be trying to bring you every little detail as accurately as possible. We're on uh, YouTube, we're on Facebook, and we're on uh, Twitter Live. 
and this is Barca match center soon only available on the Barca app and fcbarcelona.com we've got lots of comments coming in from different countries we've said Canada we've said Peru we've got uh, Honduras we've got Colombia as well as Real Madrid are trying to make an attacking move here's uh, the ball forward for Gareth Bale who was unable to yeah, but uh, bring any more danger with not not a lot of you know a structure uh, sometimes when they get the ball uh, from Barca they try to to go you know um, higher and deeper cutting lines but not with a lot of intention Barca winning the ball back and trying to go in transition there's a heavy foul on Coutinho now and that should be a yellow card as well there it is yellow card for Nacho so that's one all in yellow cards Rakitic for Barca Nacho for Real Madrid foul on the left-hand side of Barca's own half, just on the halfway line, really. Coutinho went down as Barca were trying to go on the break. Referees have this policy where once there is a yellow car, um, they cannot go back, you know? It's like, uh, OK, every single foul, it's going to be like, it looks like a, a yellow car, and he's going to show the yellow car for both teams. Got fans cheering from the Philippines as well. We've just got that message on uh, Facebook Live. Here is the long ball by Pique, the run by Luis Suarez. Always fighting for it. Great. And slides in and gives Barca a throw in. Great in effort. Advanced position on the right flank. Great effort from Suarez. He's every. He never gives up, does he? Never. Never ever. Uh, he's pushing a lot. And he knows that today, especially without Messi, that he has to play at his best. Here is uh, Sergio Roberto looking for options. Suarez making himself available, coming close. Roberto goes to the ground. No foul given. Sergio Roberto not happy about that one, complaining to the linesman now. Real Madrid have the ball. Isco. Rafael Varane. Artur putting on the pressure now. Courtois back to Rafael Varane. Madrid playing deep behind. From Real Madrid's side, you look at Modric, Isco, that they are amazing players. They barely took the ball. Uh, so that's great for, for Barca, uh, especially because they are so dangerous when they, they have it. So um, this is the, the line that Barca have to, to, to keep on. Barca creating advantage once again with Jordi Alba. Here's Felipe Coutinho down the middle lane now. Coutinho trying to cut back. The touch by Tony Cross, but Barca still has the ball. Five minutes remaining until half time. It's 2 0. Goals by Felipe Coutinho and Luis Suarez. That one was from the penalty spot. And Real Madrid will have to try and make some uh, changes for the second half because at the moment Barca has been the better team overall. Absolutely. Now we were looking as well that Suarez comes wide on the right because Rafinha is more free. Excellent uh, challenge there by Artur, excuse me, Paul, because Barca has a chance to run and it's Rafinha putting the ball through to Jordi Alba, but it's going to go to Thibaut Courtois. Just lacked a bit of accuracy that pass by Rafinha because Alba was making the run once again. Barca with the ball, it's Ivan Rakitic. Nice nutmeg. Foul by Casemiro. Play on, says the referee. Suarez. Rafinha, tackled by Isco Rafinha to the ground. And it's a foul for Barca. This one could potentially be a set piece with a cross put inside the box. It's over on the right side of the attack. Rafinha's put it on the ground. Langley and Piquet moving forward and going into the box for a header. It's, it's a pity because the, the attempt, the move that Jordi Alba was doing before was uh, absolutely fantastic. And maybe Rafinha needed a little more of smoothness, you know, on the, on the pass. But it was, it was a great um, move above all from Jordi Alba. Well, Rafinha is going to be the one to put it inside the box. Here is the cross headed away by Karim Benzema, now Madrid can come out in transition, but Busquets wins the ball back cleanly, and Barca have it again, Suarez on the right side, he raises his head, he had an option inside the box, it was Gerard Piquet still hanging around there, 
Roberto with the header, swatted again on the right side, another cross. Now this can connect with Piquet! He didn't get his body into the right position, and the header wasn't good enough. But what a chance, what a cross by Suarez. What a assist from Suarez. And Barca have the ball again, good pressure. Rafinha on the edge, he can take the shot, it's gone wide! Excellent moments for Barca, good pressure. They win the ball back, and Rafinha with his left foot looks for the top left corner. And Piquet, he's a senior back, you know, with an attacking soul. So he was there after the, the corner or the set piece, I, I don't remember. And Suarez crossed a beautiful ball. Uh, unfortunately, Piquet didn't um, head well, but Barca is, is going. And Real going. Madrid do not know where they are right now because Barca are putting on good pressure. They've won the ball back again, and it's a throw in for Jordi Alba close to the corner over on the left side. Ball inside for Suarez, who protects it. Trying to combine with Artur. Madrid coming out now. This is Modric over to Isco. Barca need to be careful here. Tony Cross. Long ball over to Gareth Bell, who almost fell to the ground. He managed to recover. And Jordi Alba almost taking the ball away. Throw in for Real Madrid, minute 43, 2-0 for Barca. It's an important moment not to concede now. Absolutely. It's uh, the most, it's always important, you know, not to concede, but awful now we have to be smart and careful because uh, avoid, avoid risk of a fall. And now the linesman has given a controversial foul in favor of Real Madrid. This could be dangerous. We've said that they can be dangerous in, at the set piece, and now they've got a semi corner kind of on the right side. Yeah. And, and Ramos Baran coming Ramos. forward. They are really, really, really good in this aspect. Let's see how Barca is going to defend the, the set piece. Well, it's going to be crossed inside by the German midfielder Tony Cross. See Varane, you can see Ramos inside the box, also carrying Benzema, Nacho as well. No Barca players outside of the box. Yeah. Barca is doing an individual mark with two, with two uh, players that are free to, to get the ball. Referee gives the go ahead, here's the cross by Tony Cross. Uh, Isco with the volley after the Barca clearance. And now there could be a dangerous counter-attack. Here comes Felipe Coutinho, players running forward. It's Suarez, he's got two to his left. Here goes Suarez! He didn't Too much. make the right decision. No. He was ambitious, he went for a very complicated lob shot over Thibaut Courtois. He had, I think it was Rafinha, and either Arthur or Jordi Alba to his left. Maybe because of the fact that we are in the almost to the half time, maybe uh, Suarez didn't have you know enough uh, oxygen to to think clear and and make the best decision. And we're just about half a minute away from half time. Quickly, Paul, what did you think of this first half? Barca was absolutely uh, fantastic. Uh, he was uh, better from. From the very beginning, referee is whistling right now. And that is the final whistle of this first half. We're going to be right back with you when the second half starts. It's Barca 2, Real Madrid 0 at half time. And it's half time, Paul. 2-0, uh, as we were saying, Felipe Coutinho and uh, Luis Suarez, the scorers. It's been a great first half by Barca. Absolutely. Barca was far better than Madrid. Uh, above all, the left side of Barca with Jordi Alba and Coutinho was the sweet spot. And I have to keep um, having the ball moving from one side. I look. Well, the Barca players are just about to jump onto the field for this second half. The Real Madrid players are already on it. And, Paul, you wanted to talk to me at halftime uh, about a few of the uh, statistics you were uh, showing me. Barca have clearly been the better team. They've had more possession. They've had uh, more shots, I think. Uh, so uh, let's just talk about that while the players are gradually making it uh, onto the field. We'll see if there are any substitutions as well. You've got some of yeah, the stats, we Paul. I can figure out that Lucas Basket from Madrid is gonna is gonna is gonna be on the field. 
Uh, it's weird because probably they were, he was warming up uh, inside, indoors, uh, and he's out and he's uh, replacing. I, I can, I cannot see it I'm from here. Not sure here. because uh, we'll see. We'll see if we've got. Uh, the, maybe uh, Baran, maybe Baran. Substitution, yeah, because I think Nacho's now. Yeah, uh, Nacho's a senior back, and I think that Lucas Badiona is gonna take the right exactly, back position. Yes. Yeah. We can see the sign now. It's number five for number 17. That means that Rafael Baran will stay in the dressing room now at halftime, and uh, Nacho will move into centre half. Lucas Vazquez will be playing as the right fullback. The first possession in this second half will be for Barca. Uh, they'll be attacking to the left side of your screen if you're watching this. Uh, live and Real Madrid will be attacking to your right. Luis Suarez ready it, to put the ball in play. And the second half is underway. Here is Barca with the first possession of the second 45 minutes. It's Sergio Roberto on the right side with uh, Rafinha. Real Madrid trying to put some pressure on Barca. Martelo wins it back and loses the ball in front of Sergio Busquets. No foul given in spite of the Martelo foul. Here is Coutinho. Alba. I was fans gradually, excuse me, Paul, uh, making it back to their seats. You were saying, yeah, I was. Uh, I'm taking a look at the statistic of the first half. Um, both teams uh, took five shots on target, but the, the main difference is Madrid uh, took four out of five from outside the box. So with uh, a lot of intention, you know, uh, at the end of the day, it counts as, a, as an attempt, but. Uh, you cannot. His racket that you can take the shot. Sorry, ball. Uh, it went far from the goal of uh, Thibaut Courtois, but Rakitic always fancies a shot when he's got an opening. We've seen him score some spectacular goals this season, like the one he scored against Sevilla or the one against Tottenham as well at Wembley. That one was uh, absolutely fantastic. Uh, it was like a kind of Caesar shot. Uh, Rakitic, I think he's he's a multi. Um, he's a very versatile player multi uh, skillful but uh, he's a kicker you know he he kicks very 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 well uh, from all the the side but all from out of the box that maybe Barca players they don't tend to to have these uh, this skill we haven't got any Barca players warming up at the moment we've uh, got uh, Silasen Semedo Dembele Malcolm Munir Arturo Vidal and Chumi the Barca B player on the bench so uh, we'll see if Ernesto Valverde needs any of them during this second half. Two Real Madrid players doing some warm-up exercises. I can see Marco Asensio, who's always dangerous, definitely. Yeah. Valverde, he's not a big fan of, of, of doing subs during the game. And even he tries to you know, extend as much as he can. As things go, go well, he, he prefers to stay with the same the same lineup uh, it's a way of you know uh, approaching uh, the game it's his style Real Madrid with the ball after a bad Suarez touch through the legs of Jordi Alba it's Gareth Bale this go with his chest over to Tony Cross also with the pressure and nice here pressure. comes Suarez but the foul is given what if they'd won the ball back and there were three Barca players running forward, it could have been dangerous. Yeah. Referee blew his whistle. Barca has to keep in mind the Clasico that took place last year and it was the two nail in the first half and then uh, Madrid drove. So it was a different scenario because Barca was uh, in a very high uh, position in the, in the league. Uh, but it's always great to to learn from from the past. You know? From the past, exactly, yes. Pass for a 2-0 up. Felipe Coutinho and uh, Suarez, the scorers. And Real Madrid looking just a little bit be uh, better maybe in this uh, second half, in these first three minutes. That doesn't mean that Barca isn't having the ball, but maybe Real Madrid putting up a bit more of a challenge. Here's a dangerous cross by Martillo, and Clement Langley gets uh, just in time to put his head and clear the ball away as Benzema was looking for the chance. Well done, Langleder, because good recovery. Yeah, and he didn't know what uh, had uh, at the back, at his back, you know. And it's better to to throw the, the ball out of uh, of the game instead of uh, taking risks, uh, unnecessary risks. Real Madrid have the ball now. 
Swanitz is Casemiro, but it's a bad pass, and Barca have a chance in transition. Swanitz with the ball, he's got Rafinha, he's got Artur, Coutinho as well, Rakitic to his right. There goes the ball, but good interception by a Real Madrid defender. Awful pass uh, from Casemiro uh, without uh, any sense in the, in the middle of the in the middle of the field, yeah, and it was the, kind of the origin of the Barca break as uh, Marcelo makes the run forward. This is Gareth Bale back to Benzema. He's got Lucas Vazquez to his right. Barca running back now. Here is Isco inside the box across uh, Marcelo on his chest and Real Madrid have scored. It's 2-1. It's Marcelo. And we did say that they were looking just a little bit better in this second half. Lucas Vazquez giving them depth. Down the right flank. The cross inside was finally by Isco. And Marcelo had to bring the ball down on his chest, then finished with his right foot from point blank range. Nothing that uh, Stigan could do. We're watching the replay now, one of the screens we've got in front of us. Yeah, it was too hard for Ter Stegen. Ter Stegen had gone down ball. to try and intercept the cross. It was a nice Couple cross from Madrid, and, and then Marcelo. He has the, the, you know, he's very, very skillful. Um, and he has got a goal scoring instinct, hasn't he? He yeah, scored last week. Attacking instinct. Yeah. He's a left back with, with attacking instinct. And yeah, he even can play as a, as a winger because he has the, the features to do it. Let's see what Barca's reaction is after that Real Madrid goal. It's an early goal in the second half. We'll see how. That affects Valverde's side. Here's uh, Sergio Busquets running towards uh, Ernesto Valverde to talk with his coach. Throw in for Barca on yeah. the left side. Jordi Alba looking for options. Alba. Football is Suarez. football is anything but predictable, you know. And the first half was completely Barca half, and right now Madrid. Uh, refresh um, themselves in the half time, during the half time, and they have just a score a goal. And we will see what's going to happen in the second half. Maybe everything changed, but we will see. Right now, Barca has to uh, recover from from the situation. There's a foul on Rakitic, who managed to play the ball forward to Suarez. He's gone one on one on uh, Casemiro. Could be a corner kick for Barca, and it is going to be. Bit of tension now between Suarez and Casemiro. There's a yellow card on Gareth Bale for a previous foul on Ivan Rakitic. Busquets going once again to talk to his coach. Corner kick for Barca on the left-hand side of the attack. Coutinho is going to be the man in charge, placing it inside the box or playing it short with Artur, who's coming. Yeah, now the, the game is a little up in the air, you know? Because uh, Madrid has just scored, Barca is winning, but um, a little shock because of the... Here comes the cross by Coutinho, excuse me, uh, no. goal, but uh, Thibaut Courtois managing to catch that. And now Isco making the run forward, chasing back is Jordi Alba. It's three against three. Barca trying to get back as quickly as possible. Isco inside to Benzema, who took the ball away from Toni Kroos, I think. And now Barca are the ones who are going to run. Here is Artur. Slowing things down, uh, he lost the ball, taken away by Cross. Isco, over to the left, here's uh, Benzema defending him, is Sergio Roberto. Can Benzema put the cross inside, Gareth Bale trying to turn around, well defended by Clement Longley. Barca needs to get it out of its box, here's uh, Rafinha. Nice control from Rafinha. And here come Barca, Suarez with the turn, trying to put the ball through the legs of Ramos, unable to do so. Real Madrid, yeah, Madrid is win it back. Pushing, pushing right now. Isco on the left side, defended by Roberto. Here is Isco again protecting the ball. Modric. A ball for one there pressing, you know, the first time. The first half Madrid was more waiting for Barca. And right now it's completely opposite. Uh, they are um, going forward to, to press Barca 
and Bart has to has to figure out how to solve this. There's been a foul by Clemon Langley on Gareth Bale, so potentially there could be a chance to put this the ball inside the box. Tony Cross always a player with great accuracy in those situations. Set Arthur pieces again. Set pieces again. We know how dangerous Ramos can be. Here comes the cross by Tony Cross. At the far post is Gareth Bale, the header by Rakitic. Uh, Benzema trying to get the volley. Barca managed to clear, but not to keep possession. Here's Marcelo making the deep run. Marcelo with the cross and Ramos with the header. Over the goal of Ter Stegen. Another chance for Real Madrid. And Barca have not come out as strong as they did in the first half. The fans try to encourage the players. Here's Sergio Busquets. A bit of trouble there as he gives the ball to Tony Cross. This is Gareth Bale, and here comes Modric with a shot, and it's at the post. <laughs> Modric hit the post, and... And that was very close. Very close. Barca to the draw. Playing with fire right now. Busquets made a bad pass, and that gave Real Madrid the chance to create a quick attacking situation. Modric had a shot from the edge of the box, and it hit the post. Yeah, Busquets, he is a fantastic player, and he's one of the pillars of the team, and he's like a kind of compass for Barca, you know, uh, to know how to play, but sometimes, in this situation, I think it's not necessary to to take this risk. Here come Real Madrid again, once again down that left flank. It's Isco inside the box, and that's a bad shot. It's going to go straight out for a throw-in. The throw-in, yeah. Not the it's best be shot. Part, uh, ball right not the next best, to the corner flag. Not the best shot from Isco. No, not <laughs> sure. He wasn't <laughs> expecting to do that. The fans are trying to be loud. They're trying to encourage the team. 11th minute of the second half, it's 2-1. We remind you that this is Barca Match Centre. We're live at Cap Nou. We can't offer you the streaming of the game, the images. Oh, here comes Isco inside the box again. And Alba trying to get the ball out of a dangerous situation, but Real Madrid win it back. Lucas Vazquez. Now, Lopetegui's side look like the stronger team. Barca is winning, though. As I was saying, we remind you that this is Barca Match Centre. We're on Facebook, we're on YouTube, and we're on Twitter. All of the official social media channels of FC Barcelona. Here come Real Madrid attacking again. Benzema cuts inside to his right foot, and the ball bounces off of Pique, I think. It's going to be a corner kick for Real Madrid. And we see that Valverde has sent a first player out for warm-ups. It's Guzman Dembele. Yeah, maybe right now the Barca needs more reaction. Cross inside by Isco, excuse me, Paul. Rakitic clears it away for another corner kick. During the half time, we were saying that Madrid needed to shake a little the game, and probably Barca have to picture this uh, right now. Well, the 15 minutes of half time have definitely benefited Real Madrid more than they have done for Barca. And now Isco produces a very bad cross which goes. Straight out of play. That will give Barca some time to breathe to get themselves back into the right positions. Here's Ter Stegen. He has Longley to his left and Piquet to his right. He probably will have to look for a longer ball because Real Madrid have lots of men in uh, their opposing half. But Barca tries to play from behind. Coutinho. Suarez is going to bring it down. Here is Felipe Coutinho in the centre circle is Rakitic, who goes down. There's a foul on the Croatian midfielder. Also managing to move forward after a few minutes of Real Madrid constantly attacking and keeping the Barca defence very deep. Yeah, at least Barca right now in the halfway. Barca has to try to keep the ball right, right now. It's, it's, it's like a balloon of oxygen, you know, uh, when you are... Uh, you're hard. struggling, yeah. yeah. you're struggling, you are not in the, in the great uh, mood of the game. So, okay, be be honest with your style, keep it, uh, keep the ball again, and, and switch things. 
Foul on Suarez now on the uh, centre circle. Here comes Rakitic. Barca playing already. Here's uh, Rafinha. Back to Sergio Roberto. Busquets forward to uh, Rakitic. This is Suarez. Jordi Alba on the left. One of his first runs in the second half. Artur is inside the box. Wasn't a good touch, but he manages to keep the ball in play for Barca. Here is uh, Jordi Alba inside the box once again. Trying to find Suarez. Alba can win it back. Here is nice. Alba again. And Barca are close to Real Madrid's box. Here is Coutinho through the legs to Rakitic, who's had a couple of bad passes now, and the fans are getting a bit nervous. But here come Barca again. Coutinho switches it over to uh, Rafinha, who's on the right side. Sergio Roberto comes close to him. Here's Rafinha back to Busquets. Barca looking for the empty That's space. That's what Barca needs. You know, have this. Just to keep Real Madrid there. Rakitic inside to Sergio Roberto. He's fed Suarez. Oh. It's in the post. It's in the post. And Barca are going to score their third. What an excellent run by Sergio Roberto. And what First touch to Suarez, then on the volley, the Uruguayan. And Hit the post. What so a, close. What a ball from Rakitic, they think. And Barca are still attacking, by the way. You know, when the, all the midfielders, they are, they are like in the line and they are moving the, the ball with speed from one side to the other, then players such as Roberto, Suarez, they can go deep, deeper and, and break the Madrid, Madrid wall. What a chance it was there for Luis Suarez. Yeah. The speed coming from Rakitic, who played an excellent ball to Sergi Roberto. Roberto passed it back to Suarez and on the volley, the Uruguayan had to react quickly. Suarez was really, really close. Hit the post. So it's the post, unfortunately. We're going to see it now on the screens. Let's see, there's yeah. no offside. No offside. Beautiful ball from Rakitic. So, so close. Fantastic run. Roberto and then Suarez hit the post. There it is, again. Now Real Madrid are making the run forward. It's Luka Modric, defended by Artur. Lucas Vazquez overlapping him. Vazquez with the cross, manages to connect with Isco. Rafinha running back. Marcelo, the goal scorer for Real Madrid, very early in the second half. Inside uh, Isco, was that offside? The referee says no, Barca with the ball. And Rafinha falls to the ground. There was no foul. Isco inside the box and PK nice getting block. in the way. And now Rafinha knows he made a mistake. He's apologising to the rest of his teammates. There was an offside, by the way. There will be no corners. PK reacted quickly. Anyway, PK was ready to block the, the, the shot. shot. But Real Isco. Madrid are being dangerous in the second half. We've got another player warming up. I think it's Nelson Semedo, from what I can see from here. So we've got Dembele and Semedo. Yeah both two of them Ter Stegen is going to play the ball from behind Barca moving their players yep. forward trying to get the Real Madrid players away from Ter Stegen's box and we were seeing Pique uh, trying to encourage Rafinha you know when when the hard times come uh, players such as Pique or Suarez uh, or Busi, Busquets with more experience they have to take a step forward. Here come and, Barca and... And lead by example. The team was coming out on the break, but a previous foul had been given, or an offside. So Real Madrid have the ball now. Tony Cross, 2-1. Coutinho and Suarez for Barca. And Marcelo for Real Madrid, early in the second half. Now Barca... Throw in for Win Barca. Back, throw in for Barca on the right side for Sergio Roberto. 18th minute in the second half. Here is uh, Sergio Roberto under pressure. Marcelo came to defend him. Here is uh, Langley. Space to run. Forward to Coutinho. Good control there by Felipe Coutinho. Artur, quick touch over to Sergio Busquets. Now Busquets has time to think. Alba had made the run forward and now said he was expecting it. Here is uh, Coutinho. Coutinho inside to Jordi Alba, the volley! And it's Close. gone wide. Is it going to be a corner? Yes, it is. Alba. What a nice... Against Inter Milan. 
And he very, came very close right now. What a nice move first from Alba, because movements are not uh, for nothing, you know? To, it was to create the space and for Coutinho to have the ball to uh, to look to think, exactly to think, and then um, Ada was over there. He crossed the ball, and unfortunately, uh, it was near. It inside for Felipe Coutinho, excuse me, Paul. Uh, clearance by the Real Madrid defense. Rafinha well. goes for the challenge, and he collided into Tony Cross as both uh, players went for the header. Foul given for Real Madrid. So Barca have had their two most dangerous chances really in the uh, second half. The uh, Luis Suarez and Villa Jordi Alba, both with volleys. Now Real Madrid will play from behind. It's going to be Thibaut Courtois. And I think that Nelson Semedo has been called over to the bench, so we'll see if he is the first player to come in as a replacement. We'll see who will be substituted. Piquet clearing with his left foot up in the air. Yeah. Arthur wins the challenge, run by Luis Suarez, excellent ball by Ivan Rakitic, is Suarez trying to put the ball over Casemiro. The Real Madrid player got the best of him, Barca are going to win it back, here is uh, Suarez again, and it's going to be a corner kick for Barca, excellent effort there. Excellent, excellent, right. excellent Suarez. Fighting Suarez. During the whole match he's going and going over and over again. And I think if I had to make a bet, I would say that Rafinha is going to be the, the, the player that is going to be out. And Semedo probably is going to take the right back and Roberto is going to uh, move forward. He's yes. going to move forward, yeah. Coutinho there to take the corner kick. The ball inside, straight into the hands. No trouble for Thibaut Courtois. And Real Madrid want to run. Here is Karim Benzema. No one in front of him at the moment. He's crossed the halfway line. He has Isco to his right. There goes the ball. Alba going in there to defend Isco. Rafinha with some help. And Barca manage to break that Real Madrid counter-attack. Good run back, both by Jordi Alba and then Rafinha. Throw in for Real Madrid on the right side. Alba is a relentless player. He's always running all the, all the left side of Barca. So... We are so lucky to have a player like, like him because um, he helps a lot the other players when things doesn't go well as well. Martello on the left side. Real Madrid in their own half at the moment. Toni Kroos under pressure. Back to Thibaut Courtois. Casemiro is playing almost as a centre half. Yeah, we Jordi could see with some pressure on Isco, but the ball gets to Lucas Vazquez, who has some uh, space to run right now. Rakitic trying to get back. Here's uh, Lucas Vazquez with the cross, and Real Madrid have almost scored the equaliser there. Benzema really it uncomprehensively... Was a, yeah, it was a nice move. Uh, of didn't Madrid. put the ball in the goal. And Barca are but... going to make the replacement that you uh, predicted, Paul. Yeah. There's the chance again. Great cross by Lucas Vazquez, and Benzema was so close. It went just breezing over the uh, crossbar. What an excellent chance for Real Madrid. It was, Rafinha. It was so close, uh, Benzema, to score. So Rafinha's going to leave the uh, field, applauded by the fans, and in comes Nelson Semedo in just a minute. Sergio Roberto is going to move into a more advanced position. Honestly, I think that Jordi Alba didn't have to, to step forward before, you know, because uh, he left uh, his back uh, to Lucas Vazquez. And then he has the space to, to run and to cross the ball, and Benzema was really, really, really close to, to equalize the game. Roberto with the header over to uh, Suarez, who's going to try to play with Felipe Coutinho. Here comes the run by Coutinho on the left. He's got the ball. Coutinho with a left-footed cross, cleared away by the recovering Real Madrid player. It's Sergio Busquets, Barca, in possession. Semedo, first touch. Here is uh, Sergi Roberto, Rakitic. We need, Busquets trying we, to we need a need, available, yes. Yeah, but. we need a little more of Coutinho yep. uh, for this second half, because he's a player that uh, have the ball and he, and he dribbles very well, you know? 
after Messi, I think is the second the, the, the second best player in Barca that dribbles. And it's always uh, fantastic for a team to have a player like, like him. Real Madrid have the ball at the moment, 24th minute of the second half, 2-1. We remind you that the goals for Barca were scored by Coutinho and Suarez. Marcelo for Real Madrid in the second half. And that we're on YouTube, Twitter and Facebook Live. One of the official media channels for Football Club Barcelona very soon, only on the Barca app and fcbarcelona.com. Here come Barca moving forward over to the right. Good. Is Sergio Roberto Suarez making the run inside? Roberto on the edge is uh, Suarez who loses the ball, taken away from him by uh, Tony Cross. Real Madrid trying to move their men forward. Martello over to Gareth Bale on the right side, down with his chest, and over to Lucas Vazquez back to Bale, defended by Langley. Nacho in the center circle is Tony Cross. It's time to think. The ball's going to go over to the left, and it's offside. This side, yeah. Play disallowed. The flag Madrid had been raised. Madrid has much more possession in this second half. Uh, he's uh, running the game, we, we could say that. And yeah, Barca is not as shocked as at the beginning because it was a completely change from the first half. But um, then, with the, with the appearance of uh, Semedo, it's like a, a symptom, you know, like a, to to have more more control. Above all, Barberde doesn't want to to get the score, so that's that's his uh, main goal right now, and he's gonna put the the players and and the the guidelines to to act like this. A second substitution is being prepared on the Barca bench. Is Monday Bele? Lacing up his boots, receiving the last few words from Ernesto Valverde. We'll see who the player uh, that's going to be replaced is. Foul on uh, Casemiro by Luis Suarez. A little shove there by the Uruguayan as he tried to win the ball. I think Valverde maybe has realised that the game has gone more box to box. Maybe he needs a player who can make fast runs. Yeah. And even Madrid was uh, pressing uh, Barcelona uh, to one by one, you know, um, just leaving three, three defenders in the back line to the three forwards of Barca. Mm -hmm. And Ter Stegen just has the option, you know, to, to cross the ball to the, to the attacking line. Here's Artur, who's struggling to get more involved in the second half. Now Jordi Alba slipped at the very worst time. Here comes Rakitic to win the ball back as Lucas Vazquez tried to find Isco. The Metsamedo, who luckily gets out of a complicated situation. He seemed to have slipped as well, but so did Marcelo. Now the run is by Sergi Roberto. He's in an advantage. In a situation of advantage, it looked like it, but finally lacked just that little bit of speed. And the ball went into the hands of Courtois. Roberto was close and he can play pretty much in every position of the of the of the field. I don't think as a senior back, but the other the other position I think that he played at least once in his career. Uh, we haven't seen him as goalkeeper yet, but <laughs> let's not uh, let's not say no to that option. Okay, so we've got a throw in for Barca and a second substitution. Felipe Coutinho is gonna be replaced by Usman Dembele. The scorer of Barca's first goal, Simon running Barca. off of the field. With 17 minutes remaining, in comes Usman Dembele. Coutinho looked a little um, tired, you know, exhausted during the second half, and probably this is one of the reasons why we uh, took him out, him out of the of the field. It's Tony Cross, actor. Ramos. Here is uh, Real Madrid playing over on the left side. The cross inside, looking for the run of Benzema. Ter Stegen with no problems to control that ball. Alba. Also with a few more doubts now when bringing the ball out. 
Great. Because of the good pressure by Real Madrid, but now they've found an opening, and here comes Usman Dembele. He's got Sergio Roberto on the right. There goes the ball. Sergio Roberto, Suarez in the middle. Sergio Roberto inside. Suarez with a header. It's a goal! It's a goal for Barca! Luis Suarez with his second of the afternoon. In transition, Dembele made it happen. He found Suarez on the right. Sergio Roberto on the right, excuse me. And it's an accurate cross by Roberto. Suarez didn't miss it this time, Paul. Absolutely fantastic. Everything is searching out when Alba crossed the ball to Dembele with a tons of space. He's trying running through the Madrid back line. And then he opened the ball to Roberto, who crossed up. Fantastic ball to Suarez, who had Excellent. the ball. Excellent. Excellent. To the back of the net. There it is. What a great cross and what a difficult header that is. He didn't even jump. He's got both of his feet on the floor. It's a quick reaction by Suarez. Yeah. Accurately put inside of the net. And it's Barca 3, Real Madrid 1, with 15 minutes remaining in the game. And Suarez, we said before the game, he had to be the team's leader today. He had to be the courage of the team. And he has been second goal of the afternoon for Luis Suarez. And playing hero for Barca now. He's doing it. He didn't have time, he didn't have space. But when you're a top-notch uh, striker, you know that every single attempt that you have, you have to make the most to, to score. And Suarez did it. So well done, Suarez. Well done, Barca. Well done, Sergio Roberto. Well done, Dembele as well. I mean, it was Alba who found Dembele. Barca was struggling to bring the ball out. Uh, because of the Real Madrid pressure, but uh, Alba got a good touch into Dembele. Then he had space to run down the middle. He had options, found Sergio Roberto on the right. And then, I mean, it's kind of difficult to describe because it's not a typical header. It's not a typical situation. It's a cross from just outside of the box by Sergio Roberto, very low. And Suarez just manages to turn his head and put the ball into the back of the net. Now there's a bit of controversy there because Suarez is and probably going to be booked. Not. I think that it's Nacho who's on the ground. Suarez, he's still excited of the goal, for the couple of goals that he has just scored to Madrid. He is apologizing to Nacho. I honestly didn't see that uh, tackle because I was looking the other way, something I shouldn't have been doing. But uh, Real Madrid are going to make a second substitution. Meanwhile, Gareth Bale booed by the fans. In comes Marco Asensio, who's a very dangerous player as well. But Barca having a little bit of time to breathe after that explosion of joy with the Luis Suarez goal. I mean, I, I'll stress it again. It's not an easy header because it's a very low ball by Sergio Roberto and he has to just quickly turn his head around. It was a sophisticated movement for Suarez and even it wasn't a typical Barca movement. You Careful know? because here comes Barca again, but Thibaut Courtois is going to get to the ball first. It wasn't a typical Barca movement, you know. It's more to combine, to pass on the ground, to do like one, two, not, not this kind of weird, you know, uh, crushing. Uh, but definitely it's, it's, it's a goal as well. And Suarez and Roberto did it uh, great. Well, I mean, I don't want to jinx this or anything, but I'm going to be ambitious. I want a Luis Suarez hat trick. He's in form, and Barca have a chance to run now because Real Madrid are going to move forward. So, in those transitions, I want to lose for Suarez Patrick. And if he has the option, I'm sure. I'm sure he wants uh, it as well. Wants, yeah. What a great week it is for Suarez as well because he became a father uh, for the third time, I believe. So we congratulate him for that, and we can congratulate him for these two goals today. When there's a foul on uh, Lucas Vazquez now, committed by Jordi Alba. He did but a great assist as well against Inter. Okay. That is true as well, yeah, to provide the first goal to Rafinha. Providing, yeah. And so all in all, not a bad week for Luis Suarez. Not at all. OK, so 12 minutes remaining, plus added time. And Real Madrid are down 3-1. Barca are up 3-1, that means. Two goals by Suarez, one by Coutinho. Marcelo scored for Real Madrid. White side have the ball at the moment, but Dembele puts in his boot to intercept. Here's Tony Cross back to Casemiro. 
Long ball looking for the run of Lucas Vasquez down the right. Benzema. Good little touches there by Benzema and Luka Modric, but Barca making it complicated for Real Madrid. Nacho. But you, you can see that Benzema on the other half, you know, Madrid side. He's not a proper striker, you know. He's more someone who plays for the team, not the, not not as imagine Suarez that every time he has the target. And Barca are on the run again. Here comes Rakitic down the middle. He's got Sergio Roberto. He's got Suarez to his right. There goes the ball. Suarez is going to put the ball inside. Roberto with the header. And how beautiful would it have been? if we'd have gotten a reverse goal of what the third one was. Suarez with a cross, Roberto with a header, but it wasn't good enough this time. It was a similar situation. Uh, one Barca player running towards uh, Madrid, the defensive line, opening right to the right side of Barca, and then uh, crossing the ball, and Ro Roberto is not Suarez like heading ball, so. Probably this is one of the reasons uh, we didn't have the same outcome. And I think that the ball has been uh, put out of play right now because Marcelo cannot continue. Marcelo went down to the ground a couple of uh, seconds ago when Real Madrid were attacking before the Barca counter-attack. And he's limping off, so there'll have to be a third substitution for Real Madrid. He'd had some trouble with some injuries right before the game. He was a question mark exactly. right until today, I believe. Exactly. And so probably this is the reason that he's uh, Oh, and Real leaving. Madrid are going to go full on in an attack because Marcelo is the player leaving, but the one coming on is Mariano, Mariano. who's a striker. It's so we'll see how that affects the team. They were already playing kind of with uh, three defenders, with uh, Nacho, Casemiro and Ramos. Ramos. Marcelo leaves, in Even comes Mariano. Even before they tried to play uh, with three def uh, defendants in the back line, uh, Nacho, Casimiro, and Ramos, and then Lucas Vázquez as a kind of uh, more winger with a lot of uh, space, and Marcelo in the in the other side. Real so Madrid now winning the ball back with the pressure now. Benzema over to Isco with the shot. Oh, it's Asensio, it was Asensio. excuse me, it wasn't Isco, it was Asensio, sorry, sorry. So I think that right now Asensio is going to take, takes um, the role of Marcelo. Marcelo, right, and, and then uh, Mariano and Benzema, they're going to be up front. And Barca are preparing a third substitution as well as Clement Longley plays the long ball there. Sergi Roberto is going to win it back and he's going to feed Suarez. Here comes Suarez, he's going to go one on one with Courtois. Suarez with a little thing and oh, it's a goal! Absolutely fantastic! It's absolutely. a goal for Suarez! We wanted a hat trick and we've got one! Absolutely. Luis Suarez, what a finish! Unbelievable! And Timo Courtois! Sergi Roberto! With the effort to win the ball back, then the assist is wanted, and it's a beautiful little finish. Uruguayo, Uruguayo screams the fans, and Barca are 4 1 ahead. Ball cover, how amazing is that? Unbelievable, Sergio Roberto to the second play, cross the ball to Suarez, and then what a touch! What a touch! There it is. We're going what to a, see it a, on the what screen. What a messy touch. Bad That's control right. by Sergio Ramos, who tries to bring it back down on his chest. Sergio Roberto gets the best of him, and that little thing was a, by Suarez. What a, what a messy touch. You can, a hat trick. Yeah. That and was the fans fantastic. are roaring. Fantastic. Third substitution for Barca, by the way, is Arturo Vidal is going to come in, and Artur is going to be the player who's replaced. Ramos knows he's made a mistake. And Barca are surely going to win these three points now. I'm pretty sure as well. What an excellent afternoon. What an excellent debut for us as well here on Barca Live Match Centre. We're on YouTube, we're we... on Facebook and we're on Twitter. And I'm sure all of the fans that can't watch the game and are following us are enjoying this thoroughly. Barca's running the Clásico again against Madrid, the, 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 the rival, you know, and it's going to be a high dose of uh, positivism, uh, energy for all the 
Barca fans across the wall. And I don't think we said this uh, during our commentaries. We talked about it definitely before the game. Barca hadn't won their last three Clásicos here at Camp Nou. So Barca back on the winning side of this uh, great game. And what a way to do so. Uh, through ball by Dembele in for Arturo Vidal, who is going to make his first attacking move of the game. Barca win it back, but it's a foul for Real Madrid. Yeah. Arturo Vidal replaced uh, Arthur. It's a substitution that Barberto usually uh, does, probably because Arthur maybe is not uh, used to uh, having two matches per week, you know, and he comes from another league, another dynamics, so probably he has to get used to that. And I will fall because uh, right now he wants to, to have a more solid team. And with uh, Arturo Vidal, probably he's gonna he's gonna have it. Real Madrid attacking as Barca win the ball back. The Barca fans chanting the anthem a cappella. So it's Roberto trying to get to the ball, but it's gonna be Casemiro who takes control of it. Here is Tony Cross. And now five minutes remaining in the game, plus added time. We'll see how much is added on. 4-1, three substitutions for each team. Not much went on. Apart from that, I think the referee is gonna gonna show three more three more uh, minutes for the extra time. It's that what they usually yeah, do the, yeah, when the conventional. They're, yeah, the conventional. I think that referee is gonna play safe in that. Barca are running again. Suarez over to the left for Dembele, who can go one on one. Is he gonna wait for someone? Dembele with a beautiful little touch for Arturo Vidal back heel. Barca. Now keeping possession, Semedo on the right. Back to Sergio Roberto. And the fans chanting, ole, ole. Big time right now at the Camp Nou. Madrid is chasing shadows. Alba, then Bele. Alba again, Arturo Vidal. Ball taken away from him, but just momentarily here is Rakitic. Then Bele manages to stretch and Keep that ball in play, he's going to go inside the box. Here's Dembele with a cross. Arturo Vidal with the header. Absolutely fantastic. Oh. Arturo, Arturo, Arturo Vidal. And it's a big goal for Barca Ball. We're delighted. Barca 5, Real Madrid 1. And things look complicated at the beginning of the second half. But how has this ended? Oh my God. The fans are raising their hands with the number five. Number five. Number Robert. five. Three for Suarez. One for Coutinho. And now one for Arturo Vidal. And he scored his first game. He scored his first goal as a Barca player. And what a game to do so. This time it came from Dembele. Here it is. The replay. We're watching it on the screen. Dembele keeps it. It was, it was a nice dribbling from Dembele and then what Arturo an Vidal. From Arturo. Yeah, from the second line. Arturo Vidal is really great on that. And one of the reasons Barca signed him during this uh, summer was because of that. This, uh, his physicality, but also exactly. his, his, his ability to make those runs forward. Well, He's been struggling for minutes in uh, this uh, early stage of the season, but this will surely boost his confidence. We can see the celebration there with Suarez and Semedo. And the fans are bouncing at Camp Nou. The crowd nuts right now. What an atmosphere. So Barca are going to go top of the table with 21 points and Real Madrid are going to remain out of European spots with 14. Seven point advantage for a Barca against their eternal rivals. Yeah, and there is a well-known statement in football that it's hard to win a league in October, but you can lose it, you know? And Madrid right now, he, they, are, they are in a very bad, in a low performance. And in this competition, La Liga, you cannot, you cannot, um, you know, uh, allow this. 
And the fans are now chanting, Ole le, ole la, sed al Barça es al millor que ya. And that means being a Barça fan is the best thing there is. Barça are still attacking, and Sergi Roberto is inside the box. He by Suarez! And Courtois with the save, preventing Barça from making it 6-1. What a chance for Suarez to make it four for himself. That was a proper scissor shot from Suarez. Now well Madrid with a chance, the game is wide open, but Langley wins it back. Good recovery by Clement Langley under pressure. Look at and he receives the applause of the fans. Barca want more, and Piquet's making the run forward now. Tomato with the run as well, and no, that's offside. Tomato is going for the goal, but the flag was raised. Was it offside? I mean, the linesman brought his flag up straight away. It didn't look like it from here, but probably the linesman had I'm, a better view. I'm not sure, but Piquet uh, step ahead and goes towards the other goal. So we're going to see how much added time is given right now. Excuse me. Uh, here's Isco trying to get in between two pass uh, players unsuccessfully. Two minutes. Two minutes. Two minutes. And Barca are still running. Here comes Suarez. They want to beat their rival while they're still down. Suarez fell to the ground and was unable to create an, a more dangerous situation. So two more minutes are going to be played here at Camp Nou. It's Barca 5. It's Real Madrid 1 here on Barca Live Match Centre. Coming to you on YouTube, Twitter and Facebook. Real Madrid with an opportunity and almost making it 5-2, uh, but... It was, it was a nice shot went one wide. Two between Benzema and Mariano. But fortunately, uh, Benzema missed a shot. Well, we said that Real Madrid had been better in the first minutes of the second half. There were some good chances even to equalise. But then, from the Suarez goal, it's been all Barca. And Real Madrid look like a mess right now. Here is uh, Dembele, Arturo Vidal. Busquets, I think Barca are still going to try and create another chance. Make it six if they can. Mm -hmm. Here's Semedo. They're not playing conservatively. Semedo inside. Suarez trying to get the touch. Courtois runs towards the ball and gets a hold of it. What an excellent afternoon, Paul. What a fantastic game that we left at the camp now. Uh, you were saying before that at the early stage of the second half, Barca was struggling a little, and that's true, that's completely true, but games has games have he, its own uh, chapters, you know, and if you if we break down the whole game, Barca was uh, superior to Madrid uh, in the hole. So, uh, yep. here it is. There it is. This is how the game ends. The referee has blown the final whistle. It's three points for Barca. It's been an excellent afternoon. And we're going to leave you here. Uh, it's Barca 5, Real Madrid 1 here at Camp Nou. What an excellent win for Barca. Oh, and the players are still talking to each other. Great win for Football Club Barcelona. So, Paul, it's been great. The players are now talking to each other. The Real Madrid players are leaving. But what an excellent win for Barca. It's been a great afternoon. Congratulations to the team. Barca 